Hello everyone. Welcome to our channel of Concept Edu. Today we're going to study about very interesting topic of true fruits and false fruits. Did you know that fruit develops from flower? Flower has different parts. It has the petals, the sepals, the receptacle, the stamen which is the male reproductive part, the carpal or pistil which is the female reproductive part and the peduncle on which the flower is born. As we can see in the diagram, this attractive pink portion of the flower is known as petal. This leaf-like structure is known as the sepals. This is the receptacle and this is the peduncle which is a stalk-like structure on which the flower is born. This is the stamen which is the male reproductive part. It has anther and filament. Anther are the one which carries the pollen grain which is the male gamete. The pistil is the female rep reproductive part which has four different parts. This broad portion is the stigma. This long portion is the style and it turns into a broad portion known as ovary ovary is having ovule which is also known as egg it is the female gamete what happens at the time of fertilization is that the pollen grains from the anther reaches to the stigma via different agents like insects water wind and then a pollen tube forms which goes through the style and reaches the ovary to meet the ovule and fertilization takes place now after fertilization what happened is that all these other parts of the flower falls off and ovary develops into the fruit it, it swells up and the ovule develops into the seed which is actually our future plant there are two types of fruits true fruits and false fruits true fruits are those which develop directly from ovary for example mango guava and false fruits are those which develop from any other part other than ovary for example strawberry apple etc let us understand the interesting development of strawberry fruit do you guys know that strawberry fruit has seeds outside its surface of course you know but do you know why it's because strawberry flower has multiple ovaries but in case of strawberry ovaries don't swell instead it's the receptacle that swell to form the fruit and the remaining part of the flower that is the petals and sepals etc fall off that means the red tasty edible part of strawberry that we eat is actually the receptacle and fruit are embedded on its surface that means the seeds on the surface of strawberry fruit are actually the tiny fruits each of which carrying a seed if you found the video interesting then do share comment like and subscribe to our channel concept edu conceptual learning on youtube facebook and instagram and don't forget to press the bell icon to never miss a video from us